everybody, I am the Lazy Kiwi and today I decided to do something I've never done on the channel before. I've done it in shorts and TikToks before but never just as a YouTube video. So today we're going to be doing a Breed Out the Weird. I'm actually really excited to do this because it's such a fun concept. But yeah, I actually was supposed to post a building video today but we don't currently have internet so I'm going to my boyfriend house to edit this so therefore I, I cannot record a voiceover at his house so yeah I decided to rather record something that I can just peacefully edit there without having to worry about recording my voice at his house so therefore I am now in the middle of the night recording a breed out the weird video for you guys and yeah without further ado let's jump straight into this so you might be wondering this sim looks really normal what the heck are you talking about, Breed Out the Weird? Yeah, she's really normal, but my other son? Yeah, my other sim is not. Meet Lady Frank the First. This is the sim that we are going to be breeding out the weird for. It is some I made myself. Really, really proud of this one. I love the like Voldemort type of thing that's going on here. I she does not have nostrils, they're inside of her lips. And I <laughs> Truly, this is an abomination. I've never made anything this weird in The Sims before. She has a little rocket ship because, you know, she kind of looks like an alien. Just a little bit though. She's obviously really normal, if you couldn't tell. So yeah, this is going to be our starting Sim. And we are going to be breeding her with Sims that I've made in the past. So the first Sim we're going to be using is this Sim that I used in my previous mods video. She is absolutely gorgeous and I think she'll be a fantastic first contestant. Let's see how strong her genes are. Now if you've never heard of a Breed Out the Weird before, we're basically going to take our starter sim and breed them with other sims until we have a pretty decent looking sim. I however am only going to do this until the household is full so if the sim does not look okay by the end, we're gonna have a little bit of a problem. And I'm only going to randomize one single time. Usually I'd do three times, but as you can tell, it takes a really long time for the Sims to load in. And honestly, <laughs> the skin tone, I do not know how we have a pink Sim. So I'm just gonna age her up and kind of see if maybe, <laughs> maybe it changes. I'm not sure if it's going to though. Oh my gosh. Honestly though, we have a nose. <laughs> the nostrils are not inside of the mouth anymore. Barely, but it isn't. It's not inside the mouth anymore. I am going to try to give all of these Sims like a slight makeover. I'm not gonna take too much time on this because, oh yeah, if I do that, this video is just gonna be way too long. I do want it to at least look as if though I tried a little bit to make them all look a little better because yeah I am I am trying. I am not gonna guarantee that it's gonna look any good but I am trying. Overall though I am pretty impressed with the change that we have already because I noticed the ears are normal so she doesn't have like the obnoxiously large elf ears anymore. She also do have a lot of body changes. I'll show you guys in a second what I mean with that. This is basically all I'm gonna do for this sim however. Like I said, I just want them to kind of look like I tried without me actually putting in a lot of time. So this sim of course is going to be Lady Frank the second because it is the second heir of course but now however unfortunately for Ash we are going to delete her out of the family. I will be putting up pictures near the end to just kind of reminisce of what the breeders were but this is where we started. As you guys can see she has really really large elf ears. It's kind of covered by the hair so let me just take it off. This is the ears that I'm talking about and of course the nose is a really significant change as well as the body so if you take a close look at this body with the legs and the <laughs> you'd immediately notice when we go to the other sim that the ears are different the skin tone is different the body shape is different and of course the nose has nostrils so I think this is a really good start but now we're going to get our next breeder 
Uh, this is the next sim that we are going to be using. This is a sim I recently used in a short. She is very, very cute and I hope that her genes are strong as well because we're gonna get a breeding again. Now, once again, I am going to just randomize it one singular time to see what we get. It does, however, take a really, really long time. So... So far, with just this, it looks like we're getting somewhere. Let's go ahead and age this sim up as well. I have hope. Looking at this child, I have hope. You know what? This is a lot better. The whole face shape so far is incredible incredible compared to what it was she is so buff as well i i don't know where the buffness is coming from i'm assuming from grandma but you know what so far the sim is not pink anymore we have nostrils we have a normal chin and everything we are not even that far into the challenge yet and i already feel like we have a really decent looking sim i am still going to continue on until we have eight sims kind of see where it goes from here because honestly i'm so surprised with this usually it takes a lot longer for my sims to breathe out the weird but i guess the sims I chose just have really good genes. So a Lady Frank the Third. Again, I'm not gonna do much look-wise for these sims. I just want to make them look semi-decent. It is now time to delete this sim because we are going to get our next breeder. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot how <laughs> I forgot about her for a second there. But <laughs> it sounds so weird to say breeder, but that's kind of what they are. Now there's a solid chance that it might go wrong here because I'm adding in a man. So far the one thing that has been really really sticking around is the blue hair. Okay never mind not anymore I guess. Let's go ahead and age up Lady Frank the fourth. Don't judge me on the four. I I don't have Google right now and I do not know what four is in like the yes, Roman numeral stuff. Outfit wise this is a really, really interesting choice. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of it. Okay, there we go. This is more like it. So, so far, she's cute. I absolutely adore what's going on so far. I really am excited to see where this goes. She did, however, lose a lot of chin with this one, which is kind of a problem with breeding in this game. I don't want to say breeding. It sounds so wrong. I don't even know why I keep saying that. Oh, I don't like saying breeding. That's what I'm gonna keep saying because it's breed out the weird and I'm already now used to saying breeding them So as much as I don't like it, I'm gonna keep saying it Honestly though, we are for sure on the right track with this one because look at her She's so so pretty We thank you for your contribution good sir, but it is time to get out of here Now I know it's risky business adding in another man but hear me out, it might be a good contribution, so let's go ahead and do it. And also, I feel like if I'm gonna let them breed with some male sims, I might as well do it now, whilst I still have a chance to recover from it, as bad as it may sound. So let's go ahead and age up Lady Frank the Fifth. It's been yeah, quite the journey, it. my friends. Look at her! <gasps> She's also a little bit chinless, but from the front, she's gorgeous. We also got back a little bit of the abs, only a smidge, but it's there. Oh wow, at this point I feel like we can literally just call it quits here. But I want to keep going, I kind of want to see where we can go with this. So as much as I feel like she is beautiful just the way that she is, we are going to delete the male sim and get another sim to make a baby with. So this is going to be our next baby mama and we are just gonna get straight into the genetics. Oh, I also completely forgot to mention this, but I am only gonna be doing girls, if you could have noticed that already. Because yeah, it's a lot more fun for me to decorate the girls, so that's kind of just what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and age up Lady Frank number six again. Do not judge my little number six over there. We're not talking about it. I don't have internet. I would have googled it otherwise. Oh, 
again, <laughs> real interesting outfit choice, my girl. Real interesting. Let's get rid of it. So far, the abs are a constant. I'm seeing abs a lot. I can't tell what her face looks like with this hair. <gasps> she has no eyebrows, but she's cute. Oh, she's so cute. She has little bug eyes. It's adorable. Actually being able to see the eyebrows definitely also helps out a lot with this sim. But she's so pretty. Honestly, we could have ended this a while ago, but I'm really 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 curious to see where this goes at the end because I would have made it to the last sim anyways but I am definitely loving the direction that this is going in so let's go ahead and get another sim. So I think this is going to be the last sim that we're going to be breeding with. I'm not sure if I can even try to do another one so we're just going to end it with uh, this one. So let's get to the genetics. Fingers crossed for our last baby. We're really hoping for for a bombshell at this point so okay it really takes such a long time to load like please oh my goodness besides for the hair that's glitching with this hat it seems like it's gonna be a pretty sim so let's go ahead and age up a lady frank the seventh our last sim for today this is also going to be the sim that i'm gonna spend the most time decorating she's so pretty Oh my gosh, I love her! So I'm gonna go ahead and do the skin details. So after I've decorated this sim, we're just going to go through all of them 1 to 7, kind of compare the start to the finish and see who we like the best. And also, I feel like since she got the blonde hair, she got the pink with it, because you know, you can't get the blonde without the pink. It's the sims, realistically, this is a hair dye. It's literally just the hair. I don't know why I feel so much more pressure to give this sim a good outfit. Probably because I know it's the last one out of the bunch of them, but I, it just feels like I should. I feel like overall I did a pretty good job on the last sim. She's really cute. I love the hair. I love the outfit. And she's very, very beautiful. So I think it's about time that we go through from the beginning. So... <laughs> trigger warning to people who are sensitive to this. This is where we started. This is our first sim, Lady Frank the first. But we did breed Lady Frank the first with this sim to get the beautiful Lady Frank the second. I say beautiful very lightly. Do not know how we got this skin color at all. The chin was absolutely immaculate at this point. That's just so beautiful. The curve, like look at that curve. We did, however, breed Lady Frank the second with this beautiful specimen to get Lady Frank the third. So this is what Lady Frank the third is looking like at this point. I feel like as soon as we hit this point, this is when it all changed for the better because already, such a beautiful sim. At this point we were just trying to get rid of the blue hair so we bred Lady Frank the third with this beautiful beautiful person to get a Lady Frank the fourth which I feel like this is so so beautiful. She did lose a lot of that chin like you do not see that signature curve anymore. I don't know where it went honestly. So we did breed a Lady Frank the fourth with this guy over here here such a nice looking guy and he helped us to get lady frank the fifth now i feel like you can definitely see the male that was bred into this sim because her shoulders are very very broad but she is so so beautiful again not very much chin going on so we went on to breed a lady frank the fifth with this beautiful girl to get a lady frank the sixth and this this is lady frank the sixth this is where the beautiful pink shades in the hair came in i feel like she's really really pretty she has such soft features so we went ahead and bred a lady frank the sixth with a this is sim over here and she helped us to reach our final sim lady frank the seventh and honestly she's gorgeous she's so so beautiful this is where we started and then we went from this 
to this so i am really really happy with this challenge i had so much fun doing this and i highly recommend anybody else to try this because it was so entertaining i hope it was as entertaining to watch as it was to do so if you guys did enjoy this video please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel and yeah that's everything for today which one of these sims is your favorite out of the bunch and do you think we should maybe do this challenge again in the future with that however i'm gonna let you guys go on your merry way so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will definitely see you all in another video goodbye everybody